Hey guys, welcome back to Doom Episode 4, Thy Flesh Consumed. My name is Rob, and this is the secret level of Thy Flesh Consumed called Fear. And it's actually a bit better than uh, the first two levels. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get out the BFG, because there's stuff everywhere. And I'll say this much, if it were not for the BFG, this level would really suck starting off. I would not want to pistol start this level whatsoever. I don't feel like I need BFG for the rest of this. I think I've pretty much cleared out the rest of the enemies that are going to get in my way the most, so let's go. And just like most of the other secret levels in this game, it's playing that song I like, Find the Secrets or Hiding the Secrets, whatever it's called. I love this track. It's one of my favorites in all the Doom games. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's up there. My absolute favorite track from any Doom game, well, the classic ones anyway, is probably Sadistic from TNT Evolution. I love that one. This would probably take the number two spot, honestly. All right, so yeah, there's a Baron back behind all that crap. I'm not worried about him right now. I'm telling you, lots, lots and lots of Barons in this episode. It's a little ridiculous with how many there are. <clears throat> but I don't think any one level has as many of them as Perfect Hatred does. And he just hit me. Oh well. Let's see, I want to... Oh, there you are. Get out of here. Yeah, he's going to be throwing his projectiles trying to blow things up, but that's fine. I want that Mega Armor. I'll go ahead and hit these buttons. These will lower down the gate that's keeping them boxed in. So, and oddly enough, most of the time when I lower it down, the Baron has like wandered off and tried to leave or something. But nope, there he is. Okay, Let's take care of you with rockets. There's an imp over there somewhere. All right. Yeah, I would recommend not, like, trying to run indoors immediately when you get in this level. Like, stay in this room with whatever resources you got and just try to clear out as many enemies as possible. That's what I have found has worked for me. <coughs> the same strategy may not work for you, but I find it pretty useful. I'm just going to kind of go around the room, get the last few stragglers. There's probably imps and uh, regular zombie soldiers here and there. What about this side? Oh, no, it's a pinky. He was stuck on a barrel. Stupid pinky. Let's feed you some butt shot. There you go. Tastes like cinnamon. Uh, let's see. Yep, another imp. How many level, how many enemies are in this level total? 85? I thought there were more, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, and then we can maybe start looking around in these rooms killing some enemies here and there. Just kind of, I would advise taking a methodical approach. There we go. And BFG really helps. Ow. Well, got lost souls behind me and everything else going crazy here. Where you at? Get out of here. Get out my face. Just now when that lost soul hit me, I like, for some reason, imagined a lost soul like jumping, running up and licking my ear and it just made me it made my skin crawl. It made me very uncomfortable. I volunteered that information because I thought you would find it enriching. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run across here. Going to balance. Get that plasma gun. Okay, and the only way out is teleporting through here. And I believe... That one is going to set me up to telefrag this next Baron I encounter. Yep, there we go. 
As long as you don't come in here ahead of time and aggro all the enemies, including the Baron, you can telefrag him without too much difficulty. Get out of here. How did that lost soul freaking survive a BFG? It boggles my mind. There we go. Um, does this lower? Yeah, there we go. When I get over where you're at, I'm gonna kick your ass. There we go. Shotgun guy. Yeah, this this level has a good bit of enemies and of course some tougher ones. It puts you in some difficult situations, but I mean after the first two levels, this isn't bad at all. It's actually kind of fun. There we go. Oop. There's always an imp somewhere taking shots at me. Come up in here, deal with you assholes. Were you shooting me in the back of the head? Stop that. Whew. Hmm. Grab these items. Sorry if I'm like going, if there's periods of me like not commentating on stuff, I'm honestly just kind of zoning out. Just killing stuff. There we go. Alright. Let's grab this box of shells. Hmm, okay. Let me see if there was anything I might be forgetting in this area here. I think, yeah, I think there's like a rocket. Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't come down. Ah, there it is. Still haven't gotten a backpack, but there is a backpack in this level, and it's near the end. Let's see. Okay. Wasn't there a teleporter I hadn't taken yet? Maybe. Mm, I don't know, but there's a clip right here, and I want that. Oh, well, whatever. This this is where I wanted to go anyway, so it's all good. Okay, so next, we jump down on the right side of this platform. Now I'm going to go on the left side. This has the yellow key. When I first played this level without having looked at a guide, I looked for the yellow key forever. <laughs> Didn't see it was right there. Alright, that sort of teleported me back in here. And this will just go back out whichever way. I'm not even looking at where I'm going. Oh, health. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. I know for sure where one of the secrets is in this level, but I forget where. There's like a big health down there. I didn't see that before. I want it. Okay gonna send me back a bit but I can keep talking uh there's a berserk pack that's hidden somewhere I forget it where exactly but those are like the two secrets the one is the backpack and the other is the berserk pack um yeah this is the teleporter I hadn't taken before okay it just puts you in here all right that's fine Okay, it is BFG time, officially. It is BFG o'clock. Get out of here. I'm still of the opinion that lost souls have too much health. What? Okay, you teleported, that's fine. 
Like, I wouldn't even care if they did more damage if they just had less, less health. I think it takes too much ammo to kill something that is a, literally a floating skull head. But that's just my minor nitpick with the game. Let's see, where do I want to go now? When you have the yellow key, you can come through here and go ahead and get the exit, but I do want to go through the level and get more things. There's first secret, or I guess it's not the first or the second, it's just, it's the first one I found. Ah, right, here we go. I hear you. I don't know at what point you teleport, but die. Let's see, there's some bullets. What else we got in here? I think there's probably more plasma ammo. Yeah, let me explore this portion of the area here. I usually get in this area first before going to the outer ring there. It's a little easier to take out the enemies more methodically, but yeah, whatever. It's all good. Some rockets, some more health. How many cells have I got? 220 right now? And where does this take me? Oh, okay, it just puts me in there. I'll go back through there. Oh, well, it just teleports. It's like a series of teleporting. Okay, interesting. Let's see shells. Yes, excellent. Yeah, it's good to scour this level for anything you can find because there's actually a lot of ammo here, which will come in handy for the next level. There we go. All right. I'm going to see if I can find that Berserk pack. Found it! It's this little inconspicuous wall right here with the little scrape marks. There we go. And that is everything. Nice. Main reason I wanted that Berserk pack, though, was to be at 100% health when I finished the level. So every little bit counts. Okie dokie. And that is... Fear! 100% everything. So the title for this level, Fear, is not based on any specific uh, verse in the Bible. Uh, the Bible does talk about fear, and it encourages us to not have any. Which you shouldn't have when going through Doom Episode 4. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon with Sever the Wicked. Until then, y'all take care.